It is Tuesday, August 6th. We're at the top of Mount Abraham, getting ready to go down towards our car. So I just wanted to take a moment because yesterday Terry said that was her favorite hike. So I just wanted to see what she liked about it. Now, first of all, the weather was perfect. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. It was perfect temperature. So setting the stage. The hike had a lot of um, ridge walking, which was like small ups and downs. And then on either side, you could peek through the trees and see um, the whole other mountains of Vermont on either side. So I just, to, yesterday was magical for me. So yeah, a lot of energy. You yeah, slept energy. well. Yeah, I slept well the night before. It's near one of my favorite places in uh, Warren, Vermont. So um, it was a great day. And then uh, today it's uh, nice out, still nice out. How'd you sleep last night? Not so good. I don't know why, but um, we slept outside, which is something I wanted to do. So I'm excited that we did that, but I just, I uh, didn't, I had trouble sleeping last night. Oh, that's too bad. I think I slept really good and the stars were beautiful. Just clear skies last night. So the only downside to sleeping outside is that your down quilt on the outside gets a little damp. And so there must be a solution for that. So I'm gonna Google it at some point so that if we ever do any more cowboy camping on a uh, wooden platform or wherever we are, that we can avoid that. We are on the descent. I actually like going down these kinds of rocks. Every once in a while I have to slide down too. Terry will appreciate that. So we made, uh, made it past the halfway point and we're heading home really with the idea that we'll come back in September, like the third week or so. That's the idea right now unless something happens. Um, I'm able to pull five days of vacation together and then we'll have the weekend before and the weekend after and that should give us nine days of hiking at least. Still won't be able to finish, but at least we'll get further. So, Terry, what was the highlight of your trip? Well, um, a couple things. Um, of course, just doing the long trail is something that I've always wanted to do, so I am very thankful I had the opportunity and getting to do it with you and spending the time with my niece, Abigail, having her hike with us for three days. That was really special. And then as far as like which day I felt the best and enjoyed the most, it was yesterday. We hiked the section from the Appalachian Gap to um, Lincoln Gap, and the weather was amazing, and I felt great. I could have, I felt like I could have just hiked until I went to bed. So she had all sorts of energy, but we ran out was of beauty, beautiful. Yeah. It was just a, a, a special, magic day. So that yeah. was my favorite day. And we got on the trail around 9:30 or so. So if we had gotten on earlier, we could have gone further but it was getting too late. So we got to sleep under the stars instead, which was fine. So what kind of learnings did you have? Well, um, I think the overall learning is it's a lot more challenging um, and hard on our bodies than we thought. Um, you know, I really thought we were gonna finish it in a month. So um, that was kind of the big learning. Um, the other thing is, um, not to 
let yourself get too um, intimidated by some areas because some people were telling us things about the um, Manchester or Mansfield section and I got myself really psyched out and it turns out it was it was uh, difficult but not impossible and so we made it through it so and in reality I liked that section the best so I love being up above I mean being above the clouds was like amazing and the challenge of getting up and over the rocks and just walking on the rocks up on top and that I just had fun <laughs> so Terry's best day was yesterday and mine was uh, pretty much the day before the day before that so getting up Mansfield I liked a lot and I also enjoyed meeting um, other hikers along the way and I just think it's really great that you interviewed them as part of your um, chronicling our hike and I, I think there's so many interesting people out there and I just love learning about other people's stories so that was another cool part of it. Sorry about the jerking around on this video. We're on a rough part of road. So is that that's a, a lane? I guess so. <laughs> anyway Terry's driving. <laughs> I should shut up. Um, I just thinking back on what the Aquaman said you know um, he actually was a little numb to the views and he was kind of like you know when you see things and you see more of them um, I thought that was an interesting perspective and then you know just the you know something it's not always fun which is true I mean there are some highs and then there's just let's just get the day done which is similar to life you know it's the ups and downs of the normal day-to-day -day type stuff so see I never I didn't hear that part of your interview with him but I never get sick of the views I there's something about just looking out and seeing mountains and beautiful scenery that I never tire of yeah we had some today some some uh, good views I actually got on the trail today at 6 30 in the morning it helps that when you... our, with our bare bones no <laughs> no heated breakfast no coffee yeah just uh, get up, pack up, have some cold food, and get going. So that was that was nice. That was another learning, though, about doing the the bare bones backpacking. Um, because we were thinking about slag packing, and we realized we couldn't do all the mileage one day. And after meeting the graduate, we thought about, well, why? What about if we left all our stove and fuel and, and pot? You know behind and just ate cold food for a day or two um, it saved a lot of weight and not bringing the tent so yeah. I think that also helped us in the, the difficult sections feel more um, comfortable because the pack, get, was, a the lot, pack was a lot lighter I could a lot definitely lighter. tell the difference yeah so the only risk was uh, without the tent we de <laughs> You know, you you have what you have, and when we got to that chairlift where we were going to stay, the inside of it was really crappy. And come to find out, there, uh, Katie ended up staying inside there and said there were mice, and uh, we ended up staying outside just under the stars. Um, so having a tent, you could have put the tent up. Um, so that's the risk of not having something like that with you. So uh, I don't know any any. Oh, we also got lucky with the weather. We never got rained on. <sighs> And it's um, raining again now. It's, raining. On, uh, it's rained on the way here. It rained when we did our other zero. So yeah. uh, we did luck out. That's actually got some pros and cons to it. I mean, the con is is we didn't really experience the cold and the wetness, or packing up in the wet and trying to deal with it during the day. So that would still be a challenge when we get back on the trail. All right. Well, I Looking enjoyed. Looking forward to our next hike. Yes, I enjoyed my time with you, Terry. Um, been friends for over 30 years. I thought we got along really well. Yep, no issues. Our pace is close enough to be in the well, same. Well, I mean, the thing is, you know, in the end, we're still together um, on the, you know, if my pace is faster or yours, because some days I'm like dragging. So Terry's not feeling so good today, and that uh, reflected in the pace coming down. So, Mike getting a little bit. Yeah, so she's a little bit under the weather. So this is also a good reason that we're off and uh, going to try coming back in uh, September. That's it.